Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am finally sitting down to film this Q&A that I suggested like a million years ago. I asked you guys on Patreon. This is a Patreon Q&A, I guess. If you had any questions for me so I could make a video a long time ago and we're finally here. I don't even know when I'm gonna post it, so having the Christmas tree in the background, maybe it's a bad idea, but you know what? Fuck it. It's, it's December 22nd. Anyways, I got a few questions, but some of you guys asked multiple questions. I'm gonna answer them anyways, so whatever. The first question is from Fernando. What's your opinion on reactors reacting to other reactors? <laughs> Inception. For example, yourself reacting to Nikki and Steven Game of Thrones reactions. So I, I kind of had to ask him, like, is that a thing? He told me that it could be. And reacting to a reactor, reacting to something, it's kind of weird, not gonna lie. But I would totally react to one of my fellow reactors reacting <laughs> to a show that I like. Example, uh, he's not... Alpha Wolf reacts anymore. I uh, so class something. I don't know how to pronounce it. Stefan, I would react. I would totally react to his Outlander reactions. That would that would be too weird, <laughs> but I would do it. I mean, I'm, I'm down. Let's let's start the reactors reacting to other reactors react to stuff. <laughs> Christopher asks, would you consider reacting to spe specific videos about the shows you're reacting to? as long as they don't contain spoilers. For example, character tributes, funny behind the scenes moments. If so, when could you react to it? I did once. Someone suggested a tribute to the 13th, 12th, to the 12th Doctor, Peter Capaldi, and I reacted to it, but it got blocked because, I don't know, I filed a dispute and nothing happened, it got blocked, but I did it that one time. So yeah, yeah, I'm totally open. I'm totally open. I guess it would be a patron only thing if it's gonna get blocked, but I don't know. Yes, I'm um, yes, I'm down. Just leave your, your suggestions. Christian asks, do you have a wish list in case anyone of us wins the lottery and wants to send you stuff? <laughs> I do have a wish list on Amazon. In case I win the lottery and want to buy myself some stuff. This is something that I have always done. I hate really going shopping. I like only like shopping online. I do enjoy window shopping, but not that much because people look at you weird. I, I, I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just my social anxiety making me think that people are staring. Um, so I go online window shopping. Yep. As sad as that sounds. Because it makes me feel better. Like, buying myself things when I have money makes me feel completely better. Even if it's just a Coke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just buying myself something. A, a sandwich. Anything. Anything that I could get outside of my house. Or with a click of my mouth. It just makes me feel good. So online window shopping, it makes me feel good. So I have a, I have a long wish list. Sometimes I'm just scrolling through my list and I'm like, why did I want that? Why? So I delete some stuff that I just added to my list because I, I, I was desperate or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I do wish I could win the lottery. I don't even play the lottery. So how could I win it? Next question. Christopher again asks, uh, what are your favorite TV show genres? I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea because I have three favorite TV shows. There used to be only two, but outlander. Um, first one is Sex and the City and nothing will ever take Sex and the City's place in my heart. It's the best show ever, at least to me. Second is Doctor Who, of course. Um, but 
second point one is Outlander. Like I don't want to give Outlander the third place. It's it's right there with Doctor Who in the second place, and they're all pretty different genres, I guess. Because Sex and the City is more like 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 a realistic type of show, you know, like life and love and friendship and jobs and all this stuff. And Doctor Who is like time traveling, aliens, some love, I guess. And Outlander is just love, 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 love. Also time traveling, but it it's a little more realistic than Doctor Who, I think. So I don't know. I enjoy a lot more romantic things than like action things, I guess, like like fighting and stuff. I I mean I don't know. I think that, but then I watch like an action movie and I'm like, hmm, I kind of like this shit. I can't. I can't pick a genre. Well, yes, I can. Romance. Romance is always going to be my answer. But I can't say it's my favorite because I enjoy other things. So I don't know. <laughs> Fernando again. Would you react to certain songs? My phone just turned off. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, great. Okay, we're back. My phone is charging on my legs, so I'm gonna be looking down. Because my charger is like broken or something and if I slightly move my phone, it will stop charging it and it's still in 16% so... Uh -huh. Fernando asked again Would you react to certain songs, music videos? Yes! Yes, I would. Again, I did this, but with a, with a band that I really like, they're called Heffron Drive. I followed them a few times when I lived in the States because I'm in love with Kendall Schmidt, if you didn't know that. I, I do enjoy their songs a lot. So I reacted to one of their videos. I, I wanted to keep reacting to their music, but I don't know why I never continued. I mean, I guess I just couldn't wait because every time I woke up and they posted like a new music video or something, I would be like, watch it. I wouldn't put on makeup or anything just to film because I don't have patience and I'm desperate. <laughs> But, and yeah, oh my god, and yes, I, I reacted to one of their videos and one of the members, not Kendall, disappointed, <laughs> um, Dustin, Dustin Belt, he retweeted my reaction and I was so freaking happy, I couldn't freaking believe it. And by the way, if I'm not being as loud as I usually am, it's because it's like 2am and everybody's sleeping and I'm filming in the living room. I so want to leave alone. So yeah, definitely. I would love to react to songs or music videos. We'll make a little section for the patrons. Shoot! Fernando, again. Could you go to your backyard and get me a what the... Okay. Could you go to your backyard and get me a... Salmo... I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Also known as the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. What the hell is that? I don't I don't think we have those. I would have to ask my mom, but she's already asleep, so maybe I'll ask her tomorrow. What the as a Venezuelan Sun Tiger? What the fuck? I mean I could go to my backyard and bring you <laughs> my dog shit. <laughs> that that I had. <laughs> we also have basil and some other herbs that you use to make tea. Henrik asks Please react. He didn't ask. This is not a question. Please react to all seasons of Vikings. You're great. Thank you. And I'm, I'm reacting to Vikings, but once a week, Thursdays, usually in the morning, I release the video. Uh, yeah. Sai <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. Wait. I should keep my phone on my leg, but like I can't see that far. Sai Kadelikatesin. I'm sorry. Uh, I used to enjoy your reactions to Black Mirror. Thank you. Uh, though realize your reasons for stopping. Just wondering if you continued watching the show and if so, what were your favorite episodes? I did continue watching the show. I didn't watch a lot of episodes though because as I have already said like a million times, my Netflix stopped on my PlayStation. And when I want to like sit down and chill and watch something by myself and not in front of a camera, I usually do it on my TV in my PlayStation and it just stops and it's so fucking frustrating. <laughs> so I didn't watch a lot of episodes and I don't remember which ones I reacted and to which ones I didn't. 
But at the top of my head, my favorite episodes are definitely Be Right Back. Like, I even remember the name of the episode. It was so fucking good. That episode just blew my mind and it was so sad. I love that episode. Can we just take a moment? And the second episode, I don't remember the name, but it's, and I don't, I don't know if I reacted to it. I know Be Right Back I reacted to, right? Anyways. The other episode is this dude who leaves to like travel the world or something and he downloaded this app to get jobs and then this girl tells him to go sneak into a gaming company and steal some of the works in progress so he could sell them and he would make money. You know the one the one where they put like like a little thing behind his neck and it's like a like a like a virtual reality type of game, but it's like really scary. I don't know the name of the episode, but that episode, I loved it so much. Those two episodes are my favorite, I think, because those are the ones that I remember the most. I also rem remember the one where Jodie Whittaker is in, where she cheated, but I also don't remember the name of the episode. And finally, Christopher asks again, what are your all-time favorite TV shows and why is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one? Oh, I already said my like, all-time favorite TV shows. I feel bad now. I'm sorry. I do love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but I don't know if it's my favorite yet. Like, it, if it's in the top five yet, it should be. When I finish, when I when I get all caught up, I will make my de decision, like I did with El Leather. I waited until I got all caught up, although I got a tattoo of Outlander. It's not even my very first favorite TV show, and I got it. I don't want to talk about it. It's not my first favorite TV show. My first favorite TV show is Sex in the City, and it's never gonna change, never. Uh -huh. Second, Doctor Who, and second point one, Outlander. I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is gonna be in the top five, definitely. You know what, top three. I'm gonna give Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number three. Mm -hmm. And I guess those are my favorite TV shows. But if we're talking anime, my favorite anime is Cardcaptor Sakura. I also got a tattoo of Cardcaptor Sakura. And my second favorite anime is Yu Yu Hakusho because I, I just love Yu Yu Hakusho and I'm in love with Kurama. I don't know why my favorite anime character have always been male anime character have always been Kurama. Like I, I was so in love with him and then I grew up and I started liking gay guys romantically and I was like why god why well bitch guess why because you liked Kurama when you were like 10 <laughs> and cartoons Hey Arnold is my very first favorite cartoon second as told by Ginger because it's so real I used to fight with myself a lot because I didn't know where to put like Hey Arnold and as told by Ginger like which one should be the very first favorite but you know what? Hey Arnold, just because it's older and I saw the movie when it came out and I like cried like a baby and I rewatched Ginger not so long ago. And I also cried like a baby, but my feels were a lot more moved by Hey Arnold. Also, sad story. I used to be very, very involved with the voiceover community, I guess, that like with the voiceover actors because that's like my dream career, what I wanted to do with my life and I studied so hard since I was 16 to become a voiceover actress and I, I kind of did that a little bit because I worked some jobs but anyways, I think I have told this story before so I know a bunch of voiceover actors, right? and I met this guy online an Argentinian like a million years ago and he was also into voiceover acting we were we would do fan dubs together and all this shit in Spanish obviously and a few years ago he moved to Mexico to live with his girlfriend I think they got married now and so he could keep working with uh, voiceover because whether we like it or not Mexico is the like the biggest country doing voiceover for Latin America and I say whether we like it or not because it used to be Venezuela, okay? 
the fucking government ruined everything. Anyways, <laughs> a bunch of uh, Venezuelan voiceover actors moved all around the world, especially to Mexico, right? So my Argentinian friend, he called me on Skype once and he was like, I need to introduce you to somebody. I, I just met a Venezuelan voiceover actor and blah, blah, blah. So he introduced us through Skype and he was the voice. If you've seen As Told by Ginger, you know what I'm talking about. He did the voice of Darren. And I like cried during the, the call, the Skype call. I cried like a baby because I was like, oh my god, you are my childhood. But Sora, this is not a sad story. Oh, well, it is. Because he became my best friend. Obviously, he's a lot older than me, right? Because <laughs> he did a kid's cartoon voice a long time ago. And I grew up listening to his voice. He was also... A bunch of other characters that I really really love but the one that impacted me the most was Darren and well we became very good friends we started talking like every day on whatsapp and he became like my best friend in life I don't want to say I fell in love for him because you know it was it was a through text kind of thing but like I couldn't leave without texting him I couldn't leave without getting his advice about anything you know he was my best friend he really was and when I told him I was coming back to Venezuela he got pissed of course and then he was like okay I'm gonna help you uh, you're gonna return to voiceover I'm gonna ask some friends around if, if you can go with them to practice and to keep studying and all this shit I know you don't have money so I'm gonna try um, for them to do it for free and blah 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 he helped me a lot but one day I don't even remember what I told him I don't know he told me something that sounded really really bad and like I got pissed and so I answer him with I guess bad words back and then when I woke up he had blocked me from everywhere like we had a fight I guess but I was asleep when he replied to me with some more bad words and he was like you know what you are a stubborn little bitch get out of my life and he blocked me from freaking everywhere everywhere from Twitter from Instagram from Facebook from Skype from everywhere WhatsApp everywhere everywhere he blocked me everywhere and I like cried for this for weeks because mind you he was my best friend like I would always ask him for advice I think that's what pissed him off because he was like you only text me when you need help with something which isn't really true I was just trying not to bother him because he just had a baby and he, he works a lot he works a lot I still love him a lot a lot a lot and I still consider him was one of the best friends I've, I have ever had in my life but yeah he blocked me everywhere except on my personal private family only Facebook where I also had him he didn't block me there and I didn't know until because I never signed in there my family is like like a match I can't post anything because they get offended and shit fucking 2018 people <laughs> so I signed in there and I saw that he didn't block me so I texted him and I apologized for everything and I was like hey so you may not read this but I'm sorry for being such a bitch and a brat and stubborn and stuff and forgive me he saw the message but he never replied I mean he's like 40 something years old okay he's he he's doesn't have time to deal with this stupid bitch I understand that and I am really sorry that he thought I only went to him for help and not because I actually loved him and because he was my best fucking friend in the whole world I just realized that all of my best friends have been online. My current best friend is not from another country. He lives in Venezuela, but he lives pretty freaking far away. So that's that's weird. That's weird. I always fall in love in a best friend kind of love um, for people that I can't see in person, which is hella weird. But yeah, bonus that sad story over there. Now I'm freaking sad. I think I'm gonna go open my bottle of rum and start Yule the right way, 
right? Uh, anyways, thank you for all of your questions and I'm sorry for that last bit. I may edit it out, I don't know. And yeah, definitely we, we need to talk further about reacting to tributes or songs or music videos and stuff. We could make like a, like a little section of Patreon so you guys can also pick the tributes or music or whatever that I react to just like we do with the shows. And as always, I'm Serviano and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland.